Hello, beautiful souls. How y'all doing? Welcome to Brainy Twin Gemini. If you're new, welcome. We'd love for you to be part of our soul tribe and our loving vibe. If you're a returning sub, thank you so much for all your love, your likes, your comments, this sense of community, family on our channel. It truly warms my heart to the bottom of my heart for all of your trust, and I appreciate you all so very, very much. I'm a little bit different. I channel all my energy in a journal each day. I strictly flip the cards out of my own entertainment purposes as the cards always resonate with the message energy in my journal. I do four cards, four being my birth number. I channel or give messages for the masculine's heart space as of a moment, feminine heart space. If they could say anything, a message to each other, what would it be? And the overall energy of this beautiful, magical, wonderful connection. Um, I'm a twin too that went into physical separation and by the grace of God we navigated our way back to each other in physical embodiment in our 3D world. So with that being said, I'm going to go over um, some stuff in the journal first and then I'll flip the cards again out of my own entertainment purposes. Um, a lot's kind of going on. The message is, um, sorry, the message is a little bit of a mixed energy it's a, mi a little bit of a mixed bag there's some tough energy and i just want to go over that right now and the numbers first of all that i've been seeing is 444 and 333 i have here um anger and frustration and um knowledge so you're coming into your knowledge spiritual insight higher self messages so you're receiving messages from your higher self that's your inner guide a windfall and this windfall can be financial abundance, but I don't know who this message is for. I feel like this job that you've been waiting for, it's coming to um, fruition or it's going to blossom into fruition. I have this strange thing when I was meditating today in the bath, um, Pelican, and I had to write it down. I don't know why. I don't know who this message is for, but I felt I had to write it down because when I was meditating that a beautiful bird came. I have transformation, healing, and I was seeing the color red when I was meditating in the bath. And red to me is the root chakra, and I feel like maybe some of you have a blocked root chakra, and the emotional or um, I don't know. I won't. I don't like to say the word mental, but um, emotional energy with a blocked chakra is feeling stuck anxiety, uh, stress, and depression. And the physical elements of a blocked root is um, digestive upset. So if you're feeling any of those, just go to um, our channel and find the root chakra and listen to it. And even if it's only for 10 minutes, three times a day, it really truly will help you. Um, that's what I did when I was in physical separation. I did morning, noon, and night. Just mini meditations just to clear um, the energy. So there's so much more in here, but I want to get started and yeah, just get started here. And again, I want to thank you all so much. And if you want to participate in the awakening documentary that I'm doing, please feel free to send me an email. And if um, you're a new sub or an existing sub, if you like, comment and subscribe you'll be entered into a weekly draw of any of the four um, card messages that I provide. So one of any four. So good luck to you and I am going to get started. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I feel like the, the energy is a little off and there is a little bit of de depression and some anxiety and in in this feeling stuck. So I'm going to do these, of course, what's in the heart space of the masculine feminine energy but I'm going to give a little bit more loving en energy messages. I'm going to give wisdom today as opposed to energy and maybe a couple of healing cards. And I'm merely just a messenger on this journey, um, meant to debunk any mess out there, come to you with the truth. I am just delivered amazing signs and synchronicities, and I firmly believe these messages are for your beautiful souls. So I'm going to get started. And if it's four, I'll take it. It's not. So I usually just let them fall. I'm going to ask for four cards, please. And those ones got stuck. 
And if it's four, I'll take it. One, two, three, four, and it is. So, <laughs> I can't believe this. Ah, uh, higher self that I, I can't, I can't remember if I mentioned that in my journal or not, but these never ever cease to amaze me. These, these, these cards, it's crazy. I think I said the higher self is giving you messages, right? Yeah. Um, signs and sinks. So this is in the masculine heart space. They're seeing incredible signs and sinks. I, if you are following, you know, my channel recently and, you know, the recent videos that I've been doing, I did say a couple of days ago that there would be some pretty profound signs and sinks and it's like it'll be life changing and the masculine is seeing these signs and sinks and it's beautiful and it is life altering um and it is bringing them into this this knowledge this awareness of what this love truly is there's a lot of healing going on and this isn't none of this is a coincidence and it's beautiful and they're seeing beautiful signs and sinks and the 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 greater the sign the greater the sink the for or the the closer you get to each other and the further you get away from that physical separation and it's beautiful so you're moving closer and i love it uh, i don't even need to regurgitate this is just phenomenal how these cards come out the higher self is navigating the journey right now and the inner guide and the higher self is awareness. It is, um, I could go on for hours about the higher self, but the best way to, and the easiest way to articulate this is it, your higher self is your higher knowing and it's your awareness and the masculine energy is, awareness is amplified. They're listening to that voice, that inner gui guide, that, that higher self. And the higher self is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I love this card and I feel like the signs and synchronicities um, have come to the masculine because they've been out in nature grounding some energy. They, you know, they're, they're a little bit in hermit mode right now, but it is doing a wonder of good for them. And that is because they're coming to these signs and sinks. They're coming to their higher self. Um, with with all of this there's an element of mystery and that element of mystery is is even though the masculine energy is coming to the wisdom to coming to the uh spiritual awareness and the knowledge there's still a little bit of mystery there but these answers and all the truths are coming to them and it's in an accelerated way it's something that something shifted in the universe and it is predominantly knowledge and, and an awareness and that is beautiful because this is a soul love so deep to the core and the masculine knows and they've been pondering over this for a long time and they're they their higher self is helping them navigate to you and i love it also very much so it totally resonates with the journal um and these profound signs and sinks and it's not um just uh masculine energy it's feminine energy too you're receiving some very obscure they're not the the normal nature's messengers um that you see you know it's something very strange and obscure when i before i went into physical harmony and reunion with my beloved i was standing next to my next door neighbor and it was a Thursday, I'll never forget it. And a hawk flew probably two feet from my shoulder. It was frightening, but to me it was, this is, it, this is the time, like it's happening now. And that following Sunday, just a few days later, um, we were in each other's arms. So it's coming and I just feel it and I feel very happy for you. I'm going to do four of these cards. They're difficult to work with, so please be patient. <laughs> um, I'm just going to let them fall out. I just feel like you both need some loving messages right now because there is a little bit of anxiety and some depression and this feeling stuck. This is a, this is a, a whoa, <laughs> that, one, that was cool. Um, this, <laughs> I cannot believe this. Stop. Um, it's a soul love and it's, it's highly energetic and 
this is beautiful. I'll read them all in a second. Sorry, they're really hard. Um, let's move these over here so you can see them. And one, one actually the cards are cooperating. Um, I'm gonna ask for one card, please. So just like I said, a different type of loving message. Um, oops. <laughs> and I'm going to ask for one card, please. It's one card, all right. So we'll just start from the way that they came. And there's one thing I uh, want to see. I want to put these two together because it's male and female. So there's the front of the card. Here's the back. It says, soulmate, your, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. I cannot believe this. Soulmate, twin soul, faded connections, however you resonate. This is beautiful. Um, believe this and they will manifest physically. Absolutely, 100% positively. When I was in physical separation with my beloved soul, I kept, ma I kept manifesting physical separation without even knowing it. And then, by the grace of God, all of this wisdom messages came. And I had a complete shift. And so instead of always saying, oh, we're in physical separation, I started manifesting physical touch. And I think it was about a month before I started manifesting this physical touch and our warm embrace that we came together in physical embodiment. So it's beautiful. Um, this one here. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. I love this. Know that you deserve to be and have all the heart that all that your heart truly desires. So this is a message to you, feminine. It 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 is one thing. Give thanks. Um, give praise every single day. And when when you give a thanks, abundance follows. And this one here. It says, forgiveness. I can't believe I didn't read this in my journal. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And forgiveness is, is very, very important. So I know this is tough. Um, when you're in separation, it feels like you're ripped, your heart's been ripped out and stomped on. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you need to forgive. And you need to have faith. And you need to have trust. And just let go of past events. It's hard, I know, because I was there. I was walking in the, the journey that you're walking in right now. Because I predominantly do uh, twins with, that are in physical separation with zero contact. And I kept focusing on the past. What did I do? What, 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 like, what did I say? Like, why did this happen? And then I eventually just realized that this was a gift and a blessing. And I just navigated forward and I never looked back. And I forgave. And it's beautiful. And lastly... Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And that's exactly it. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. Always make decisions with the heart. And I feel like there is some a little bit of depression, a little bit of feeling stuck, like what the frag man, you know, I'm done with this, I'm done. Um, you do what you need to do, which is what is good for you. I'm gonna put these back in the deck and I am going to do what is in the feminine's heart space as of, as of the moment? As of the moment. I live in the moment. I do, I feel like for the last, I don't know, little while, some of you have been getting caught in these, these spiritual traps. Um, I'm going to put that again today. And the root chakra, um, I love this. Oh, okay, so that's one of the words in my journal today. Um, beautiful. Feminine energy. I cannot believe this. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I do it out of my own entertainment if you do. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> if, you, if you watch, you watch, you don't. I just, this never ceases to amaze me how this stuff happens. So, healing. Um, again, I, I have this in my journal. One of the key words is your healing. You, you heal each other. And what a beautiful gift you've given to each other. Um, this is no coincidence you're coming into each other and it's time to heal. Um, all, of, all of the garbage and the junk that's deep down. And you're in, 
I feel like you're both in healing mode and you're um, invoking that healing within each other, but it's beautiful and you're on a beautiful, beautiful pathway to each other. Um, unconditional love. Um, that's one thing the feminine is, is extremely patient and they love unconditionally. And unconditional love is love that you um, uh, woke up, aroused, I guess, within each other. Something that you've never experienced before in your life. Unconditional love is soul love. But it's also just loving freely without ask nor condition. So, much, so many of us want to put conditions on love. Well, I did this, you do this. Unconditional love is at the soul level. And, you've, and, and it's such a beautiful gift that you've given to each other. And that's one thing that I write in my journal every single day as gratitude. Um, it, thank you. I resonate with God. You resonate with Creator, Universe, Divine. However, I resonate with God. Um, when you get through your spiritual awareness, you, you will understand. But um, I'm utterly grateful to be given this gift of unconditional love. Each and every day, I give thanks to that blessing that we have received and you are too um cannot believe this this came out for masculine it's coming out for you when i write this stuff in the journal and these cards come out it's no coincidence you are um your higher self is is navigating giving you valuable valuable messages that that awareness you know higher self is higher consciousness it's spiritual awakening there's so many definitions it's how you resonate there's a lot of people out there that are experts of nothing <laughs> i know that sounds terrible i i have thousands and thousands of pages i've never googled anything all of this wisdom this knowledge this prophecy vision whatever you may think came to me naturally i never ever look at any of this stuff on the internet because it can get you caught in the vortex in a trap and in a black hole or rabbit hole, however you resonate, but you are getting to that wisdom, that higher self, and it's beautiful. I love it. And this is too much because that card just came out with a loving message from your masculine energy and it's forgiveness and forgiving one others and forgiving oneself and just forgiving and letting the past go. And that's what you're doing. I feel like you're in forgiveness, healing mode, unconditional love. Um, and you want the masculine to know that you've forgiven them. Um, and it's beautiful. And the, the higher self is giving you that wisdom, that knowledge of the forgiveness. It's all, they're all journeys. It's all steps on the journey, on the path of, of each other. And it's beautiful. So, love that all so much. And I put these cards back in. And so this is a message for the feminine to the masculine. So this is for masculine. And believe it or not, there's more masculines watching this um, channel each and every day because I get the demographic information and it's growing. So they're growing. They're gaining their awareness and their knowledge. Oh, I love it. Okay, we'll put it there if you want to read it. However they come out, they come out. Oh, that one wants to fall out, but if it falls... <laughs> These are hard to work with. Okay. Whatever was meant to be is meant to be. And if it's three, I'll take it. And ironically, it is three. So I do want to show you the artwork because I do love the artwork. Um, you can obviously know what that one's going to be and this one and that one. Um, so this one here, um, this is a message for you, masculine from your feminine. Someone has deeper feelings for you than that you're letting on. Um, absolutely. When you come to each other, there's that, that ego that wants to interfere with the love, that bubble love, that beautiful, beautiful love. Um, and you both have far de greater and deeper feelings. It's to the core of your soul um, that you let on it because you're guarded, um, because you're vulnerable. Um, but they do, um, okay? Emotions are natural and necessary part of life, but they also can distort your perception 
and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Um, so um, exactly that. You let go of resentment, forgive. Um, and, you know, a natural, it's, um, it can distort your uh, perception and your vision. I feel like there is a little bit of anger, depression, st feeling stuck. Um, so that's a very, very beautiful message to, to the masculine. And I love it very much. I, you obviously know this is balanced because yin and yang is there. Um, love is not always about agreeing for the, just the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. And that's balance. And that's exactly it. Um, even though you need that, that healthy balance of masculine and feminine energy, you have to respect and appreciate that you are different. You are a mirror soul of one another, but you have different parents. You have different upbringings. You will have differences, but it's up to you to balance and understand that there are differences between you. And the most important thing is to accept and respect those differences. You can't mold somebody that's not meant to be molded. So it's beautiful. And I love this one because I love the embrace here. Um, friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. And that's exactly it. Um, your friendship is the best friendship. And masculine energy, the feminine wants you to know that. Um, and everything, once you remove those toxic elements from your life, um, your love life will dramatically re improve. This is a journey. So I love it all so much. Beautiful, beautiful messages. Those are great. So now I'm going to do the overall energy of this wonderful, beautiful gift. Magical gift. Sometimes it doesn't always seem this way. You want to smash things. Um, because it is mo most frustrating at times. But it's meant... And if it's four, I'll take it. Two, four. And they just came right out. And I love it all so much. The card rarely, I, get, I rarely, rarely, rarely comes out. And super, super duper. Um, so go within is, to me, it, it resonates both uh, masculine and feminine energy. Got that higher self card. Go within. Meditate. Breathe. Um, listen to that voice you that voice comes within yourself believe it or not and that's your higher self and your higher self is serving the best interests of you believe it or not it keeps you aware and it provides knowledge and wisdom when when you awaken and it is such a valuable valuable um i don't know the best word to describe it but it is very very valuable to um align with your higher self and go within and i love this card it rarely comes out your twin flames so if any of you are having doubts this is a confirmation also too it's confirmation for you so one of the things that i have had and you know i've been on this journey for a while um, people will come to me and say can you please tell me if this is my twin flame absolutely not I will never tell you that that comes within so you need to go within and if you're if your intuition your heart your soul everything says that this is something far deeper far greater this is my twin then it, it most likely is but i will never tell you that you have to come to that on your own and if people are um you know charging money to say whether this is your twin flame or not what you know what one step backward or two steps backwards turn run as fast as you can because nobody on this earth can do that only you can i never asked anyone if this was my twin i didn't even know what a twin was what i did know was this is a love so deep to the core that i could not even explain it articulate it understand it so please be careful um and i i feel like there is an offer of um, communication from from whomever the runner is um, because of these signs and these sinks and they're just wicked and profound and beautiful it's when that hawk came by my shoulder and I had a witness 
And she was like, what the frig, man? I'm like, yep, that's it. There it is. There's the sign. So it was all but God slapping me in the face saying, okay, come on. It's time. And two or three days later, it was time. So there is an offer coming and it's beautiful. And with it, with this offer, there's, there's victory. And you are beautiful, beautiful souls. And you deserve this. And you've been working hard. You've been healing. You're getting to that awareness. You're getting to that self-love. You are twin flames, twin souls, and it's beautiful. And victory awaits. That offer is coming and I feel so beautifully happy for you. So today, um, I want to do wisdom. Why do I want to do wisdom? Um, I always re uh, resonate wisdom with my father. My father's gone to the other side and he's been calling out to me and I feel like, I just feel like we need a little bit of wisdom on this journey as some of us are feeling a little bit stuck. So let's get some wisdom here. And again, it's just four cards, overall energy, different type of message. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> I'll do it again. So there's offers coming. I love it so much. And what I love about this is this is overall energy. So there's twin flame offers and I love it. So, and victory. All right. So I'm going to ask for four cards, please. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna ask for. I cannot believe this. I'm sorry. Too much. <laughs> I, I I honestly do it for my own entertainment. The cards don't come out like it's too much. Like I shuffle them. I. And they come out beautifully. And I'm going to ask for one card. And I just felt, I cannot believe this. Sorry, folks. <laughs> um, I can't. Okay, and my heart is racing. I'm so happy for you. It's so beautiful. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, truth be told, um, a message in the bottle. Um, this is number 14 and 15. It's, it's not a coincidence how this is coming out. Um, there is an offer, there is a message, there is communication, and the truth is coming out. And I love it so much. And what I do love about this is the owl, very um, wisdom, knowledge, and you're all coming into your wisdom and knowledge. And this is a beautiful, I don't know, is this a pelican? <laughs> because I was saying something about a pelican earlier. I don't know. Um, and I don't see pelicans much in Canada. <laughs> Um, there's a message in the bottle. So beautiful, beautiful message. This truth, the mask, there's a mask here coming off and they're exposing. Um, and they're also to this message in the bottle is the signs and the saints. I love it so much. Um, observer, I, I feel like you're, you're observing, watching, but also too, I resonate this with signs and saints and you're uh, more aware um, your spiritual awareness and your and your higher self, you're observing, you're absorbing all of this intellect, and it's beautiful. And I love this. Why do I love this? Um, it's overall energy. Okay, so we have twin flames here. This is a twin flame deck. This is not a twin flame deck. This is a soul. This is a wisdom deck, and this is a soulmates. And you see this picture up here. Okay, divine. Um, Penguins mate for life. <laughs> and to me, this is the twin flame card of this deck. So if you need, I feel like you do not need any further clarification on this message. This is your beautiful soul. And there is an offer coming, a message in the bottle, victory. And it's beautiful. And the truth is going to come out. Love it. Love it also very much. So I want to do one uh, thing today. I want to do two two he healing cards. reason why I'm picking two is um, my beautiful beloved's birth number is two and um, he's always rooting for you on the side. <laughs> he's a little shy um, but I just feel like there's there needs to be for some of you and again what resonates resonates what doesn't doesn't need that just that little message of healing. I love this message though. I love it. I love it all so much. 
Okay. You kind of see like a pattern here with these two cards and it's wild and, and, it, and it's temptation. And wild to me and temptation, they kind of go hand in hand. And it's kind of the temptation, like your, tempta your temptation is, is even though you removed some of the toxic elements from your life, you're tempted to go back. You know, there's that temptation. Um, because you're depressed, you feel anxiety, you have all sorts of wild emotions going on. So it's, it's like you're saying, frick it, I'm done. Um, I'm going back to, you know, maybe some perpetual cycles that you shouldn't. Please don't. Get rid of the temptation, get rid of all of this. This color red here resonates with the color red. Um, I feel like your, your emotions are running wild. And please, please, if you can, listen to that Root Chakra video. It'll just transform you immediately. Beautiful message. Healing. Love it. And I'm going to give you, beautiful souls, a message to take today. Tonight. This morning. Wherever you may be. Oh, oh that was terrible. I'm going to do it one more time on this beautiful planet that we live on. Uh, I'm going to ask for whatever falls out. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, okay, so it says, your smile illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There's no part of me that your love cannot feel, fill. From the moment we met, I am forever grateful, and I count my blessings each day, beloved Jewel. And that's exactly it. I'm forever grateful. Keep that gratitude in your heart and, and don't get into the temp temptation of ego and these wild emotions of depression and anxiety. Just um, keep the illumination in your soul and the gratitude in your heart. And the more you put, fill your heart with gratitude, the, the, better, the better you will feel and the closer you will come to oneself and ultimately each other. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Again, thank you so very much. For all the love, the likes, the subs, the comments, if any of this resonates, kindly hit the notification bell, thumbs up, comment. We love to hear your comments. Have a beautiful day, folks.